Hello, my name is Molly and I work for a company called Biffa. I usually visit schools across Manchester to deliver this recycling workshop, but today we're going to do the workshop from home. Have you heard of Biffa before? Or maybe you've seen the big trucks driving by with Biffa on. The image of someone loading a bin into the back of the truck might give you a big clue. Biffa are a waste management company and we are contracted by Manchester City Council to collect all household waste in Manchester. That means we will have been to your house to collect the rubbish from your bins. Biffa are also contracted to do the street cleansing. Do you know what that means? Have you ever seen Biffa crew dressed in high vis? That's the bright yellow uniform, litter picking lots of rubbish from the ground. That's street cleansing. We want to keep Manchester tidy. Maybe you have done some litter picking before with friends, family or a local community group. Biffa employs lots of different people to fill lots of different roles. Do you recognise any of the roles that you can see here on the screen? Maybe the man on the right is a truck driver, while the man on the left collects the rubbish bags. The office worker is working hard on their computer to supervise the crew to make sure they are going to the right place and they are being safe. Or maybe they are checking customer complaints or helping residents to order new bins. And then there's me. I'm a recycling officer. What do you think I might do as a recycling officer? I don't have the authority to fine people if they're doing it wrong and I don't have the factory to recycle the material myself. I'm doing my job right now as a recycling officer. Here are some pictures of what our team does. Our aim is to educate people all across Manchester about recycling, how to do it properly and why it is important. To do this, we go into lots of schools and adult education classes. We take an information table into supermarkets, libraries and events. And we also encourage and participate in lots of community cleanups. We want you to become recycling officers by the end of this workshop. You can be in charge of the recycling in your house because you'll be an expert. You'll not only know how to recycle correctly, but why it's so important for our planet. Do you recognise these bins? I hope so. Even if you don't have these bins outside your house, you'll have access to the larger bins that you may share with a neighbour or in an alleyway. So these three bins are our recycling bins. We also have one more bin. Do you know what the colour of the fourth bin is? Grey. Our grey bin is for general waste and is used for anything that we can't recycle. Let's start with our green bin. What goes in there? All organic waste can go in the green bin. That's anything from garden or food. Think of some examples of food waste at home that you'd put in the green bin. Apple cores, orange skin and banana peel. We can't eat the whole thing. Meat and fish bones, raw or cooked. Vegetable peelings, stale bread, eggshells, tea bags and leftovers from dinner. What about things from your garden? Grass cuttings, weeds, flowers and leaves. However, we can't put soil or bricks in the bin. It will make the bin far too heavy for the bin crew to move and it could break the mechanism that tips the bin into the back of the truck. So we need to take our soil and bricks to the recycling centre or even better, reuse it. Do you know what our organic waste is recycled into? Compost. Compost is a soil which is really rich in nutrients. We can use this to grow new plants and food, which in turn can be recycled again. So a great example of how recycling works. Now the blue bin. Do you know what we put in there? Paper and cardboard. So again, think of everything you might put in this bin. Scrap paper, cardboard boxes, cereal boxes, shopping receipts, envelopes and junk mail and juice and food cartons. This is sent to a paper sorting facility and it will be turned into new products. The brown bin is a bit more complicated. There are three main materials we can put in here. Do you know what they are? Plastic bottles like milk bottles, juice bottles, shampoo bottles and soaps. Glass bottles and jars like jam jars, pickle jars and drink bottles and tin and foil like fizzy drinks, baked bean cans, tuna cans, foil trays and foil wrap. 
The key thing to remember for this bin is that the plastic we put in here has to be bottle shaped. There are lots of other types of plastic that we use, but most of them actually need to go in our general waste bin. For example, cling film, plastic bags, yogurt pots and fruit and meat trays, they all need to go in the grey general waste bin. This is because the plastic is much lower quality than plastic bottles. When we recycle, we rely on the market on the other end of the system to buy these materials. Currently, no one wants to buy them because they are of such low quality. Therefore, it would be a massive waste of money and energy to send them through the recycling system when they just end up as general waste anyway. The other rule for plastic is all bottle lids need to also go in the general waste bin. There are two reasons. They are also a lower quality of plastic than the actual bottle, but they also get mixed up in the crushed glass in the recycling facility. The brown recycling bin is taken to the materials recovery facility where it gets sorted into type. After this workshop, you can watch Recycle for Greater Manchester's video of the material recovery facility on YouTube to see how it's done. There's something wrong with the image of a bin on the screen. Can you see what the problem is? Someone has mixed their cardboard and paper recycling with their food recycling. Therefore, the recycling bin is classed as contaminated. If this happens to your bin at home, Biffa may not collect the rubbish until you have removed the contaminants. We don't want this to happen because if rubbish builds up, it could attract vermin and might make your neighbourhood look really untidy. So now you know what to put in your recycling and general waste bins at home and where it goes to be recovered, let's talk about why it's really important to do it. To recycle something means to make it usable again. When you recycle something, it will be turned into something new, saving valuable resources, energy and money. Valuable resources can be materials or substances that are produced naturally by the environment. Humans use these resources to survive, like fossil fuels for energy. We widely use resources to make things that we use and rely on every day, like plastic bottles or food tins. Did you know we make glass from sand, plastic bottles from oil, paper from trees and tins from metals in rocks? To make all of these products, we have to source the material, which is going to use a lot of energy, drilling or digging for the natural material and costs a lot of money. Oil is also a finite resource, which means we are taking it from our earth at a much faster rate than it can replenish. If we can recycle our products, we can reduce the amount of new materials needed. And that's why recycling saves energy and money. Here's a picture of a tree. Do you think a tree is a valuable resource? I do. Let's think about why the tree is a valuable resource then. Trees provide habitats for lots of species, including birds and squirrels. They provide food for animals or even fruit for us. They provide us with physical resources that we widely use wood and paper. Trees around us help us to feel great, especially when we can use green space for exercise. Trees release oxygen, which we need to breathe, and absorb carbon dioxide, which is a harmful greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases trap escaping thermal energy, causing the planet to become warmer than it would be naturally. This increase in the Earth's temperature is called global warming. Global warming has effects all over the world, including ice melting faster than it can be replaced in the Arctic and Antarctic, the oceans warming up, their water is expanding and causing sea levels to rise, and changes in where different species of plants and animals can live. Now, do you agree that a tree is a really valuable resource? By putting paper and cardboard in the recycling bin, we're saving trees from being cut down. Did you know it takes 70% less energy to recycle paper than it does to make it from new materials? So by recycling, we save a lot of energy, which is going to help with reducing greenhouse gases too. So to recap, recycling is really important for our planet. We can save valuable resources like oil, metal rocks and trees. We save energy by recycling products rather than drilling for new materials. Recycling products is much cheaper than making them from brand new material and the energy we save is going to help reduce global warming which has devastating impacts globally. What's great about recycling is that new products can be made. 
These images have been made from recycled plastic bottles, the cloudy, thick plastic bottles like milk and shampoo. This type of plastic is really sturdy and lightweight, so perfect for making outside playground equipment, stadium seats and more. These images are also made from recycled plastic bottles. Your carpets could be made from recycled water bottles or some of the clothes you wear. When plastic is recycled, it is shredded and melted. When it is cooled, it is stretched into thin strands of yarn. The yarn is then knitted, cut and sewn into clothing, just like other fabric. These images are products made from recycled aluminium or tin. They can be recycled into the same product they have already been or may be used in electronic equipment or transport. These images are made from recycled glass. Glass is 100% recyclable and can be reused over and over again. Recycled glass can be used to make new glass bottles and jars, fiberglass for home insulation and in the construction industry. Crushed glass is being used to make road surfaces by crushing it into a sand-like substance and mixing it into the tarmac before spreading. These images are made from recycled paper or cardboard. You may have seen toilet roll in supermarkets made from recycled paper. Sometimes cat litter is also made from recycled newspaper. And that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed your workshop and learnt lots about recycling. If you would like any more information or a visit into your school, college or ad adult education class, please get in touch at recycle.manchester at biffa.co.uk. Thank you.